Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Post to Post. My name is Neil, and we are here to talk about what the hell is going on in the NHL with these All-Star jerseys. They just got released, and the overwhelming majority of people do not like these. If you're on Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, wherever you're at, Discord, you've seen most of the comments, and most of the comments are negative, and I am also in that camp. However, there are some good things about this jersey. We're gonna remain as objective as possible as we kind of break these down and look at this. I'm gonna be completely straightforward with you guys right now. I'm gonna tear these apart, okay? So let's bring it up and actually look at this monstrosity. Uh, these were the images that were released on the Adidas site. So I'll throw them up on the screen there so you guys can see them. I'm just repositioning them on mine. And uh, my first impression was this isn't real. This is, a, this is a joke. This was a leak that someone made and uh, just to have fun or something. But no, it's it's real. It's 100% real. It's absolutely real. And at the time when I first saw this, I did not know that there was a collaboration between Justin Bieber and his design company, whatever that's called, I don't care. So there is a, a relationship there, a business relationship, which is very unfortunate. So my first impressions of this is that this was a joke and that the front of the jersey, if we wanna dive a little bit deeper, is absolutely ridiculous. And a lot of vibrant colors happening here and stuff, uh, which is, it just adds to the silliness of the jersey, but it's really not that bad when you just step back and you kind of look at them a little bit. And I'm gonna show you an example later of how they could look or how they could have worked with remaining the, or with keeping the color and the arms and the sleeves and everything. Uh, we'll look at that here in a little bit later. But um, I think in every single one of these jerseys, the logo looks just stupid. It just, it's way too big. It's, uh, I don't even know if it's if it's a crest in the middle. Uh, I know the star in the background has to be a sublimation print, but I don't know if the entire thing is a sublimation print. I'm not exactly sure, but it just looks like, it looks like you threw this, you, you threw a blank slate in Photoshop and you told the generative fill, make an NHL All-Star jersey. And this is kind of what it came up with because you know, like if you've ever spent time in Photoshop, Sometimes the generative fill just does not do a good job. And I just think that this looks, you know what? Screw it. Let's bring up Photoshop, let's do it. I'm not even gonna mess around in this video. We're gonna open up Photoshop. Hold on, I'll need to record my screen. Uh, one second. All right, recording in progress. We've got Photoshop opened here. Let's open up a 4K sized file and we will do some generative, gener <laughs> generative fill here. So uh, let's, we're gonna select the, um, the layer. We're, and for generative fill, we'll just put NHL All-Star Game Jersey. Let's see what comes up. Let's have some fun. What's Photoshop gonna do here? What if it's better? What if it's better? Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, that did, <laughs> that did not work. That did not work very good. Let's generate some more. Let's see, sometimes if you just let it go through a couple of iterations of its processing, it does spit out something that's usable. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a couple of more chances and just see what it does. I'd rather have something that looks like an actual jersey versus just like a sweater or something. So it's not, yeah, it's not really doing what we need here, but um, let, me, let me try something else. Let me do NHL All-Star without the hyphen uh, jersey. I'll remove game, NHL All-Star jersey. Let's try that. Oh my God. <laughs> it actually looks, it doesn't look like a jersey because it's all deformed and stuff, but it's not that, oh my God, it's not that off base. The colors are very vibrant. You got a star in the middle. It's better proportions on this. Like, that's what I mean. It looks like, it just looks like something that someone from grade five designed. And I look at a lot of jerseys on this channel. We do jersey concepts every single Friday from the community. We look at 32 NHL jerseys. I do that every Friday. You know, we miss a couple of Fridays a year, but generally pretty consistent every Friday. That's 52 weeks in a year. 52 times 32 is like, man, I don't know, like 1,600. And then times two, that's 32. So in the last two years, we've done it pretty consistent, consistently. So that's like 3,200 or 3,300 roughly uh, concepts that I've looked at. And I can say with, yeah, I can say confidently like 96 to 98% of the jerseys that we look at from the community of designers, which range from 
like talented people who who work in the graphic design industry, not even in the sports industry, in the graphic design industry, all the way down to complete amateur first timers. They have all been better, 96 to 98% will say, than this. I think that says a lot. When you have the majority of people in the community, the overwhelming majority of people in the community coming up, coming up with, with jersey concepts that are better than this, better than the NHL is created or Adidas or Justin Bieber or whoever's behind these, it's just really sad because these jerseys are created for the fans. Like the, these jerseys are created to market to people to sell. I'm, I'm literally wearing one from last year, which was a phenomenal jersey. One of the best all-star jerseys that have ever been released. And then we get this. What is this? This isn't good. Let's go to another image. It's the, it's the second image that I saw in, in, in the reveal on Twitter. And I was just very, it's like, what's going on here? It looks like, like he, it, it, he's got his eyes closed and it, he's always, is this a gender reveal party? Like what? he's just, he's got his eyes closed and they put the jersey on him. And he's like, oh, I'm having a boy. Like what? it's so vibrant. And that, that's actually a good thing now that I think of it. I actually really like the colors. Now that I've had time to look at them and stuff, like the blue looks really good uh, along with the yellow. And I like the arms here too. You can see a good view of the arms. That's actually pretty unique. And I think that it is good to be like completely objective in this situation and not just completely jump on the bandwagon of hate. And I know that's really easy to do. And I'm, I know I'm a part of it, but we have to take a step back and, and, and say the good things about it as well. We can't just harp on all of the bad things. I don't think this is 100% bad, terrible jersey. There are positives. I like the arms. I like the little bit of a risk there. We like to see things that are new. Not everything has to be old school and classic. Um, it's okay to take a little bit of risk. So I really appreciate the NHL or the DS or whatever for doing that in the arms. To me, it fails in the middle of the jersey. Let's move on to the next image. Uh, he's wearing the yellow version here. Uh, yeah, let's take a marketing image of this new jersey, but Actually, Justin, can you lean forward with your hands in front of the logo so it completely blocks it? Uh, we can't see the either shoulder patch because it's shot from straight on, uh, and we can't see the numbers because they're all scrunched up. Like, wh what kind of marketing photo is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's a Justin Bieber marketing photo. It's not a jersey photo. It's not an NHL jersey photo. It's not an all-star jersey photo. It's, this is a Justin Bieber photo. And there's your problem right there. Let's go on to the next one. You can see all of them here. What is on the back of that blue jersey? Is that a nameplate at the bottom on the butt? That looks ridiculous. The numbers look ridiculous. I I hate the numbers. I hate the the, the name kit or the nameplate on the back, and I hate the front logo. I think it's a complete miss by the NHL in all regards in the middle section of this jersey. Fine with the colors, like I said. Fine with the arms. Everything else is to me is a miss. There's another image here that uh, we can take a look at. And again, it's just, like he, at least he's holding up that that jersey there. I wanna go back just very quickly to the uh, the Adidas version. And if you look at the back of the collar, what do you see? You see the NHL logo, you see the Adidas logo, and then you see his brand logo, that smiley face. The one that we saw in the Toronto Maple Leafs alternate jersey, the reversible one, because he did a collaboration there. And that jersey was okay. The actual real version of that jersey, the front or the outside, that looked pretty normal, and it was actually a really nice jersey. The inside, a little bit questionable. Some people liked it, some people didn't. But it was just a, it was an interesting experiment, and that should have kind of been it. But it wasn't. And now we're back with his brand again in the NHL. And I understand that the game is in Toronto. But I don't care. And you know who else doesn't care about Justin Bieber? The majority of NHL hockey fans. Because we care about hockey, we don't care about Justin Bieber. As big as a hockey fan as Justin Bieber is, that's awesome. I love that Justin Bieber grew up playing hockey and loves hockey and likes the Toronto Maple Leafs. And like that's great that he's famous and stuff, but I don't care about his brand, his, his clothing brand or whatever it is. And I don't want that implemented in a business from a business perspective and a business decision onto the NHL All-Star game and, and the jerseys. It's To me, it's, it's a tarnishment of the jerseys, something that we hold kind of sacred in this community. So uh, I'm not a fan of that at all. I want to take you to um, a tweet that I saw. It was from the account, the underscore Jersey Nerds. Definitely follow them on Twitter. And what they did, at least they posted the photo. I'm not ex actually exactly sure if they did this physically or digitally, but um, they, they posted it, so shout out to them. They removed the logo from the front of the jersey, 
and they put um, a variation of the NHL logo, which is very close to the original NHL logo, which had some orange in it, and also the logo that we saw in the front of the jerseys uh, of the Reverse Retro 2.0 jerseys. That logo on here looks really good. It completely changes the jersey, in my opinion. Like, if the NHL came out with, with these, people would say, oh, man, what's, you know, that's a... The arms are a little bit aggressive, and it's pretty vibrant, but, you know, not not too bad. So to me, this was just a really logical decision here by the Jersey Nerds to do this, or whoever designed it. Uh, just changing the logo on the front, to me, completely changes this jersey. And they go from terrible to absolutely acceptable and purchasable. Uh, many people would purchase these. Are many people purchasing the one that we just got? I, I don't think so. Maybe the Justin Bieber fans will. Maybe people in Toronto will because they're there and they want to remember it. But I just, I don't know. They're just not for me. I will say, though, back to saying something positive because I think it's good to talk about the bad things and the good things. We need to provide a little bit of uh, constructive criticism and balance here. One of the good things, I think, is color on color. That is something that the NHL lacks that other leagues do, and I would love to see the NHL do that. And what I, what I mean by that is that if the blue team is facing the yellow team in some kind of game, it's not dark and white, it's color versus color. Blue and yellow are completely different colors. So on TV, in person, you're not going to have a difficult time um, you know, differentiating the teams. If it's blue and white, totally fine. If it's blue and red, totally fine yellow and red, totally fine. Like all of these colors look really good together. Now we're used to the white and then a dark, that's, you know, obviously we're used to that. But I think the NHL did make a good decision here by making them so vibrant and picking colors that um, would be okay facing off against each other. And you can get that in the NHL, Nashville Predators versus the Toronto Maple Leafs, easy. Washington Capitals versus the Seattle Kraken, Montreal Canadiens versus the Dallas Stars. There are lots of options and, and, and examples. So I think without being too harsh, and I've been harsh, but I think that this is a complete miss by the NHL, by Adidas, not just from a design perspective, but also through a business lens, because I think this is a completely biased and financial decision from the NHL. They are so desperate and greedy for money that his brand paid the NHL to make this happen. And the NHL was like, oh, money? We love money. Give it to us. Absolutely. Do whatever you want with the jerseys. Just give us the money. So very disappointing as a fan um, who obviously loves jerseys. You can see lots of my background here. I talk about jerseys on the channel um, quite a bit. The majority of the content on the channel is uh, jersey related. So I'm uh, I'm definitely disappointed in this um, decision by the NHL. I think these are probably the worst or at least at best, these are the worst or at best second worst all-star jersey that, jerseys that have ever been created by the NHL, Adidas, Reebok, CCM, whoever has designed them in the history of the NHL all-star game. These are the worst or second worst. Um, I am just, I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. Also, this is the last year for Adidas for, for the All-Star Game. And this is, this is how they're going out for the All-Star Game. This will go down as one of the worst. And I think that is going to be a very popular opinion based on all the comments on Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and Discord, like I said earlier. Lots of people, thankfully, <laughs> agree with me here. I don't often say things that people agree with, but I think here I'm probably safe for the most part. But um, I would definitely encourage you to take a step back and try and find something about the jersey that you like and don't just bandwagon completely hate the entire thing. There are good things about this jersey. I also like that there's completely just color all the way up. You don't get a different color in the neck or something. It's a, you know, that's kind of nice. We don't get that a lot. So um, that's definitely nice as well. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Uh, let them have it in the comment section. The NHL is not going to watch this video. Justin Bieber is not going to watch this video, but still, I would love I would love to know your opinion down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Are you going to buy one? If you could change something about it, what would you change? Give me your thoughts down below. If you're new, I would love to have you on board. Consider hitting the subscribe button and join me here for lots of NHL talk, jersey talk, uniform talk as well. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button and I'll talk to you guys in the future. Adios.